In our city beat, Oklahoma City is pushing toward allowing more people to have backyard chickens, even if the backyard is on the smaller side. The residential chicken debate was last heard back in 2014 when city council said no, unless you have an acre. But the idea will likely go to another vote in about a month. Backyard chickens have given residents lots to squawk about, including Tuesday at OKC City Council. Chicken waste is very smelly and will affect neighbors. Seven years ago, City Council said no to owning chickens on less than an acre of land. But a proposed ordinance requiring less land is expected to be voted on again within a month. Especially last year with the pandemic, I had a lot of people reaching out to me asking if we were going to reconsider um, allowing chickens in smaller lots in the city um, because they were worried about what was going to happen with the food supply chain. Councilwoman Jo Beth Hammond co-authored the Backyard Chicken Ordinance with Council Members Nikki Nice and Bradley Carter. And I think this is sort of the an additional step in that um, of just having a more local resilient food source. If passed, those living on less than an acre could have up to six chickens, depending on space. No roosters would be allowed. The chickens would be kept in a coop from dawn to dusk, and the birds must have roaming space. The existence of chickens, even in a fenced yard, will attract predators such as cats, bobcats, yes, we do have them here in the city, skunks, foxes, dogs, and coyotes. This OKC homeowner spoke up Tuesday, and Councilman Hammond expects more to join the debate. I hear from the, the last round of this, you know, that, that people tend to be pretty passionate about whatever kind of side they land on. The issue now goes to the Planning Commission before returning before the horseshoe. Meanwhile, more municipalities aren't crying foul like years past. One of those is Edmond just voted to make the property space required for backyard chickens smaller, about a third of an acre now, but the HOA supersedes the city ordinance. That's happening in Edmond.